Hello there, everybody. My name is Chatterack, and welcome back to Stray Cat Crossing. Now, here we are back doing the play again. We have to... For some reason, we gotta do everything again. Um, supposedly, you know, we, we didn't see something we had to see. So... That was weird. Uh, I'm sorry, I accidentally did something that took me out of the screen. So we have to reset the, the stage. So we need to get the crystal swan back. And we have to get the rose. That way we can get our ticket and get in the door. I think realistically all you need is just a ticket, but... I don't know, something feels right about getting both. Or actually, no, that, that's false. You do need both. That, that's how... Because, like, this gives you the ticket. But then... Actually... Finishing the other one... Or giving him the crystal swan actually um, initiates the beginning of Act One. All right, so we got a key. Play is about to begin. Please make it where you see. All right. Now this time in the play, we're gonna make it a little. Di we're gonna do things differently. Oi! I'm the door mouse. Half door, off mouse. Ain't no blood getting past me without a ticket. What's that? You have a ticket? Well then, right this way, miss. Yeah, because I'm I'm wondering if maybe we have to replay it because there were certain things we did not execute properly. So that's that's my hope. Because it was made clear from that clock that we need to find a gear. So yes, yes, the story takes place long ago, twenty years to be exact. And it's about a cat. We all know this information now. Psst, go on stage! Alright. This is cat. She's five years old. This is all information we have been told several times. There's my bed. Here's my water. Uh, I am your mother. Time for bed. Cat, would you like to hear a story? Um, this time, I'm gonna say no. Because last time I said yes. No. Hello, mother. Hello, mother cat. Oh, it's daddy. It is I, Benjamin. Hello, Benjamin. He always wanted to call him Benjamin. Cat, I have brought you a present. Would you like to see it? Yes. I love presents. Presents are good. Here. A scarf. I want you, if you wear it, you'll always be warm. And safe. Just like when you're with your dear old Benjamin. Alright. So that was a little different. We will now break for a short intermission. Okay, so now if we look at our items... We have cake. Alright, so. We have ourselves a piece of cake. Oh, I can give him the popcorn now, right? You're, you're beautiful, I know. Oh, I don't need to give you popcorn. Who needs cake? Oh, you need the cake. Take this bird, I found him flying around. Got bird. Okay. here. You don't talk to me, and you're just the monkey that's so frightened all the time, for whatever reason. It's a creepy-ass monkey. I don't like him. No, I won't admit. Mm -mm. Okay, so... Everyone seems pretty much the same here. Okay. Did, did, did I not have popcorn to give him? I do have popcorn to give him. Why, why, why didn't he take the popcorn? Oh, there he goes. Oh, um, here, take this thing. I got one block. Oh, okay, so the play is about to begin. So let's go to the play. So now we have two new items. So. A wood block and a bird. Sorry? You actually have some nerves, don't you? Know everyone's been looking for you. Yes, yes. I am aware, actually. So what will we do different here? This is Cat. 
Cat, are you excited about having little brothers? Um, last time I said yes, so this time I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Um, no. Of course you aren't! It's only natural. Please go and tell everyone about how much you are in dis disbelief about your little siblings. Alright, so it's the same exact scene set up. I imagine they're gonna do the same exact thing as well. Twins are coming. It might be difficult to stay. Everything will be better when we move. But she's all like. Or he's all like, the city's awesome! And she's all like, what about the house? The house is just a memory. I don't wanna leave! But you're selfish. What are you gonna say? That's like I'm a mind reader. Yes, yes, you all know I'm here. And now the play is going to end because we don't have a script. Just like last time. Yay. We lost the rest of the script. How do you lose a script? Is that is there no script because it hasn't happened yet? Is that Is that what we're being told? Oh, yeah, I have that. I think the toy guy wants the wood block. That makes sense. Oh, no one's here. Oh, what? wait. Oh, no one's here. What do I do? I thought everyone would be here this time. What? Someone's gotta be here. Can't just be gone. Oh, for... The door's open again. Oh, we gotta do it all again? It's... Grandfather clock, but it's not moving. It's got a gear missing. And he's gonna be like, Yeah, you don't remember? No? Here, let's try again. Yay! Get to do this shit one more freaking time. Oh, I... I think I, I accidentally. Oh, okay. Apparently, I, 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 I jumped it. Crystal. Got the crystal swan. Here's Rose. That. Right. Here we go. Here you go. Here's your Rose. Oh, it's a rose! I should know three times now that it doesn't make her any, feel any different. That was awful, Benjamin. Give him the bird. Oh, he wants the bird now! Yes, yes, yes. I'll cherish it forever. Oh, that's funny, because you won't. You'll kill it. Man, it's not funny. I don't I don't think killing birds is funny. Unless it's Daffy Duck. Then, by all means, it's hilarious. Here, take this. Alright, the play's about to begin. Alright, so we gotta do Act 1 again, so... I'm just gonna probably skip her right ahead of her, because we've seen this now two times. Okay, so now that we got through all that, I'm pretty sure this guy wants the wood block. Because he's like a toy maker. Yeah, he's saying a lot more. Yeah, get, get the wood block. We got a toy soldier. What? What I... Toy soldier? Who wants a toy soldier? Oh, 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 I remember the, um, that little Rammy guy, he was always, like, saying he was bored and stuff, so maybe he wants it. There you go, buddy. Cool, mommy, look, look, look at me. He is much better behaved now, thank you. I don't think that's the same Sphinx. Maybe it is, I don't know. Got a script. The script! We found the script. Oh, wait. Now everyone's gone. Aw, oh, man. I feel like we're gonna have to do this one more time. This is a little tedious. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead unless something else is different, but I have a feeling it's not. Okay, so now we ended up having to do a third play today of this. So now we're gonna go see if this 
Homeboy wants his script, and I can't walk through the doors. You used to do that all the time in Pokemon. Who am I gonna- oh, you're not the right one. I need to talk to the other- I need to talk to the other you. Yeah, you. Cause remember this one was Steven talking about losing it. Yeah, here's your script. Yes, I found it. They don't hate you. I know, I'll give you something cool after the play. Play is about to begin, please make your way to the seat. Alright, so now, hopefully this time around, things should be different. The actual, the actual act two might not be different, but anything after what we normally have seen should. So, we'll see if anything ends up changing. All right, act two, here we go. This is Cat, Cat, are you kind of uh, little brothers? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super, super excited. go. And they're going to complain about the situation of having little children. Oh yeah, I should probably move, shouldn't I? You'd think after all these times I would know exactly what to do. What about the house? The house is just Benjamin, I don't want to leave. I like the season, and you're a douche because you're selfish. And what does family mean to you? You don't even know. Was that the door? Was a cat? Where is cat? Because it's at this moment in time that cat runs away. Whoa, this is new. They only talked about the twins or moving away or mommy's illness. Mommy was ill. This makes cat very sad. Mommy stopped reading to me at bedtime. Benjamin stopped giving me presents, and so and so. Cat decides, that night you decided, to run away. Am I Cat? Ah, see? There is more. Okay. This is Cat. She was run away from home. She's very sad. Sub, so, so, slow it down. Whoa. Hey, Cat. Do, do you still remember m me? Bless it for the game. <laughs> it's Madara! Set, slow down. Bark, bark. <coughs> what? What's that? A girl? Um, hello? Uh, uh, hello? It's little Madara! I like your dog. Th this is Sebastian. Bark. Mark. He he helps me see. Why can't you see what's wrong with your eyes? The they got burned up. But Dr. Faust says he can fix them. You know Dr. Faust too? Um can I take a pi picture of me? Cat, where is Cat? Benjamin, you're driving way too fast. Cat, where is Cat? Cat's outside. I I, I take pic pictures of everything, so once I can can see again, I'll know all the p places I've been. Want to see? That's a really smart idea. We're looking for this cat. It's all blurry though. Or is that just the pixel art? No, okay. These pictures are all blurry. What? It's because you're moving back and forth. Here, hold still. Now take a picture. Now it's not blurry. Wow! Th thank you! Bark, bark. Se Seb wants to know your name. My name? My name is Cat. N nice to meet you, Cat. M my name is Bark. Well, we, we should head back. It's late. Shouldn't you go home t too? I ran away from home. Why? Mommy and Daddy, they don't want me anymore. The, they could be looking f for you. They, they must be worried. Oh, look, 
there's a cat! Look, a cat. A uh, cat. W where? There, crossing the street. A stray cat, just like you. Just like me. Oh, the picture holds still. Maybe it's lonely too, just like me. Huh? Here, kitty kitty. Uh-oh. Don't go in the middle of the street. It's dangerous. What's wrong? Are you lost? It's pretty late. Do you know where your house is? I can take you home if you want. Bark. Cat. C a c car. Cat, no! Oh, no. Are they all going to get run over? No, just Madara. Hey, cat. Do you still remember me? You c came back. I knew you would. That that's why I waited. That's why we all waited. Th thanks, cat. Thanks for coming back. Oh, now I have to save. Um, alright. Hey, the show's over. Thank you for finding the script for us. Now we can all win the awards. Here, I think you should have this. Got gear. You got the gear. Okay. Benjamin would want you to have it. Bye-bye. Oh, th he would really want me to have this random gear does this antique grandfather clock that we all love and cherish. Oh, thank you, Benjamin. Okay, so let's go. Here we go. Here you go, Mr. Clock. It's not moving. It seems to have a gear missing. Put in the gear. The gear fits in perfectly. Oh, it's this guy. It wasn't your fault, cat. We don't blame you, cat. There are millions of daddies in the world. Millions of girls to have a daddy's love. But only little cat gets to have Benjamin's love. That's why I want you to call me Benjamin. Cat. You remember now, don't you? Dad? So we are Cat. Oh, whoa. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was my, but it was my fault. My fault. My fault. What was your fault? I didn't even get a chance to read. My fault. My fault. I ran away. You couldn't have known. But I did know. I knew it would happen. I knew they would come find me. 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 Come fi uh, is this one of those rhythm things? I wanted them to. You didn't mean it. I wanted them to. I wanted them to look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What do you have to say? Look at me. Look at me. They wouldn't look at me. Uh, they looked for you in the end. They looked for me. And that's why I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so there is a pattern to this, and I just messed it all up. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. It was my fault. It was my fault. My fault, my fault, I ran away. You couldn't have known. Oh, these, I, I hate things like this in this game. All right, next. Come find me. Uh, was this the one we did? I don't remember, you were just, you didn't mean it. I wanted, yeah, that's right, look at me. Look at me. And the next one is the one I goofed up on. Look at me. Look at me. They wouldn't look at me. They loved you very much. It's not true. They hate me. Hate me. Okay. What's next? Hate me. 
hate me. They don't hate you or I don't hate you. I feel like they don't hate you. They don't hate you. I've talked to them. All of them. The twins, mom, dad, even the boy with the camera. They'll forgive you as long as you don't forget them. They'll forgive you as long as you don't forget them. Cat. Whoa. You, you fixed the clock. Time isn't frozen anymore. Oh! Okay, so time was in a standstill due to the fact that the clock could no longer continue to function. Okay. This house, it's only a, a memory. It's fading. Y you need to leave. Follow me, please. Okay. So now... This is weird. This is getting real weird. H hurry this way. Look, it's Cat. Or, or, or it's me. And there's Dad with one of the ch children. And there's Mom with the other child. Right? Is that... Is that a... How is that proper, though? I thought I ran away. Hurry, almost there. Or is this a fixed timeline now that Cat has forgiven them in her heart? Is that what this is? Twins playing with Mom in the kitchen. looking now. It's weird. They're not like having like demon masks and whatnot on. There's Madara. I, I am a memory too. Cat. I know it's hard, but, but d don't forget me again, okay? Pr promise? Promise. And there's a little, little pinky swear. Wait, I never knew your name. My name? My name is... And thus, that was the legend of Little Madara. Now the house is gone. So am I a cat? That's still something I haven't really been able to figure out. I'm pretty sure I'm cat. That makes sense. That's the only way Madara could remember. Yeah, he, I have to be cat. Oh, this is the end of the game. Oh, okay. Well, that was the end of Stray Cat Crossing. This was a really neat game. I really enjoyed it. Um, I find these RPG Maker games really fascinating because the amount of detail you can go into them. Like, you can create a strong combat kind of RPG. Like, with games like this, you can create an amazingly strong story kind of game. This was really neat. It had that, like, creepy element, like, of, like, that it's very reminiscent of, like, Alice in Wonderland. And I really enjoyed that. So, and I, this game was cool. Like, it, the story is kind of confusing. What I get from it at the end is that this was a game about Cat going back and, like, kind of facing herself. Um, because, you know, she just ran away thinking that everyone, like, hated her pretty much for running away. So that's kind of how it seems like, but... There are, with games like with these kind of stories, it's always really difficult to pinpoint exactly what their intentions are. For me, I mean, me, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Wait, is there more? Oh, jeez, that guy. Creepy ass guy. So, there's a Sphinx. Hi, Mr. Sphinx. 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 Sphinx! Can't you say Sphinx? I can say Sphinx. And there's the other creepy guy. I don't like these noises in my ears. Um, the screen's getting kind of dark. Well, actually, it's getting kind of bright. Uh, 
Okay, I guess that that was the end of the game. Um, the ending was kind of confusing for me. I, it's hard exactly to say what was going on. Like, I, I do feel strongly about her being Cat. I do think she was the girl who ran away. Um, because basically what I got out of it is while looking for Cat, her parents at, ran over Madara, or whatever you want to call. It. I call them. I'm sticking. I'm sticking with that. So they ran over Madara. I guess somehow their car ended up busting, combusting, and then they ended up dying as well. So she lived her whole life with this guilt that everyone hated her and hated her and hated her. And it took for her as a stray cat crossing the street, I guess is what they're kind of alluding to, to kind of run into herself, to really, to really like kind of go back and face like all of those fears that she had in her. That's just my take. I don't know. I, I think that's why they had the story told the way it was, because it's more of a thing that you can kind of make your own conclusions of the game. I, I Sometimes I like when people do that, but I also can really, really hate it. Like, it's a big thing in like, Five Nights at Freddy's that I hate. It's like, there's so many different theories and so many different stories you can make out of it, but everyone always wants to know what the, what the canon side of things are. Like, what is it that's actually supposed to be? So, I kind of like it as far as my story goes. It kind of lets her come back and face reality of the situation, but... This game was really cool. I really like it. I think they did a good job on it. Um, I would love to play more little like pixel art RPGs like this. This was really fun, and I highly suggest you guys play it. So if you haven't done it so yet, check the description below. You can check out the playlist of our whole playthrough of Stray Cat Crossing. You can check out the link to try out the game for yourselves. Uh, see other games that we've played so far here today. Well, not today. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling on at this point. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Stray Cat Crossing. If you liked it, Hit the like button, comment to me what you guys thought of the game, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and thank you guys so much again for watching, and as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye! Sorry, it's been a while since I've read Magic Control. Four, magic.